Hey, what's up, guys? JDVim here, back with the for a tutorial video. <laughs> yeah, this is my very first ever tutorial video, so I wonder how this is gonna go. So if you guys like it, well, definitely leave me a thumbs up. This does help you because I know there's a lot of fucking help out there in the YouTube gaming streaming community who do not know what to do in situations like this here. Um, I know there's a, it has to be a ton of people out there who is searching and searching and searching who are doing YouTube gaming and they want to know who is subscribing to them live on stream as of I was wondering and all was finding out there was stuff about twitch this twitch that twat this twat that so nevertheless I'm gonna show you guys today on how to have a ghetto I will stress you not this is ghetto but this is a great alternative to um, you know, to see you subscribing to you on YouTube live during your stream, it does one or two things. A, it has uh, people who are watching your streams who who is subscribing to you have their name pop up, and uh, they're like, oh, my name, use my name here. Oh, I'm special. You know what I mean? And and, and also B, um, you know, you can acknowledge them and say, oh, you know, uh, you know, Mad Max. You know, uh, thank you for subscribing. Blah blah blah. blah. So yeah, it it, it gives a uh, you know, it is good. For both for both sides there um, but anyway let's get into this here so what you want to do is you want to bring up your Gmail that is based around your YouTube channel if you do not know how to get to Gmail or to your uh, to your uh, to Google or your Gmail I'm stumbling on my words today if you do not know how to get to Google or your Gmail you, you, you need to search up on how to use the internet how one uses the internet you need to type that in because you are going to be in rough shape if uh, <laughs> if you're watching me right now. But anyway, back to business here. So what you want to do is you want to go to your Gmail. On the right side, you want to go to settings. You want to click on settings. Then you want to go down to settings. So settings to settings. So click on that. Okay. What you want to do is you want to go to labels. All right. Down here, you want to create new label. So I have mine for subs. You can name it wherever you want it. I'm going to put this under followers. You can name it, you know, uh, whatever you want. You know, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No one's going to see this here. It doesn't really matter. All right. So go to filters. After that, you want to go down to where it says create new filter. Click on that. You want to go from, you want to your, in your from section. Ugh, can't talk right now. In your from section, you want to type in no reply at youtube.com so was well, I, I forgot the you and youtube you forgot the you and youtube venom all right there we go so basically there this will filter out all the uh emails from no reply at youtube.com and it just puts it in this one folder that we're going to put here for you so in the in the subject you want to go put in has subscribed to you so this is all the emails from YouTube from your subscription. So you're not getting anything about uh, has like has like your video, has commentary video. You're not gonna get none of those there. So with that there, you want to go create filter with this search. After that, you want to go to apply label. Then you want to go to followers. Okay, create filter. And your filter is right here. You can see apply label. There's the followers. I have the one that says subs here. So this is my subs folder here. And uh. This is where all my subscriptions will come in. So the important thing to note is that in your new folder or your new label folder, it's not going to have your prior um, subscriptions of uh, show up your prior emails. This is going to be from your new subscriptions from this point forward. Okay. So basically from there, you want to go to your OBS. Now there's two things I want to highly stress out about. This is OBS multi-platform. O original OBS is a lot easier for that. So if you want to know on how to um, do cropping, window cropping, I, I can kind of explain it to you um, because it is generally the same. But this is a lot harder here in, in multi-platform rather than your original OBS uh, on how to uh, do your cropping here. So anyway, nevertheless, it's pretty much the same thing on how you set it up here. So I'm going to show you, we'll go here. And this is what's gonna show up at the end here, okay? Um, so at the end, you're gonna have poop -de -de -de, or whoever first subscribed to you is gonna uh, pop up here, okay? So let's go back to looking at this here. 
Now, you want to go to your plus sign. You want to go to window capture, okay? Click on window capture. Then you want to select the window that, uh, that you're using. So in this case here, in this case here, I'm going to go to my wall. I'm on my father's blend. For sake of argument, you know, we'll use subs, okay? Now, I'm not going to stay in this window here because this shit here it gets confusing on this particular screen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to normal stream, okay? on here then i'll go to my own sub capture for so now you're you're now listening to my voice you cannot see my cursor or nothing like that you cannot see anything else from this point forward so just listen to what i have to say this is very important you're gonna right click on your window capture or wherever you named it okay you want to go to properties all right you want to select the window that you want to have on there so i already showed you that just a little bit ago okay now th from this point forward this is going to be for multi-platform okay all you have to do on the original obs is you just need to crop it to so i'll go back here real quick so you guys can understand what i'm saying you want to crop it to where the first letter of the name shows up all the way to where it has subscribed to you okay first letter of the name that shows up all the way to subscribe to you want to crop that in on the original obs because when you go to window capture in the original obs is gonna have it to where that um you could just directly crop it in here see i can't crop this it's just gonna make it bigger or smaller it doesn't crop it at all okay and then do I, and even if i right click on it it doesn't do shit okay but this is going to be for you guys who are using multi-platform, which I'm pretty sure is not going to be a lot of people because I, most of the people I see is using original OBS anyway. But anyway, you want to go to the name that you made your uh, subscription capture. I, made, I named my subscription capture, okay? You want to right-click on that name or on the name of the actual um, uh, source. That's what you want to call it actual name of the source and you want to go to filters okay under filters on the left side again it's for multi-platform this is nothing to do with the original obs you want to go to the plus icon you want to click on crop okay after you click on crop it's going to bring up um it's going to bring up uh, what to crop okay it's going to bring up the window uh, that you're using and you want to crop it okay uh you can use these numbers here um this is uh, you can play with it a little bit but you want to use these general numbers here for left you want to use 522 for top top and bottom should be the same uh no matter what top and bottom will be the same it's just left and right it's probably the ones that you're probably gonna have to mess with a little bit top make it 180 180 for right, again, you can mess with this one a little bit if you want to. I have mine here at 615, 615, okay? 615. For bottom, you generally want to make this uh, the same as I have it here right now. Uh, you want to make yours 533, 533, okay? After that, you'll click on close or whatever. Yeah, so you just click on close. Then you want to go back in there again, go back into filters. Then you want to add on color key. Okay, on the left side, go to color key. Now, this is how I made mine transparent and widen and all this other shit. So, what you want to do here with this is I, if you have a dark background like I do, you want to make yours white, obviously, or, or a lighter color. Okay. Um, so, what you want to do here is that under custom color, uh, on top or it says uh, color uh, key color you want to select yours uh, I have mine as white so select yours as white okay so under key color go to select color and you're gonna click on white all right then after that from there you want to go to contrast brightness and gamma for instance for me to get mine to be white I have mine all the way up to one so on the little bar there, fill it all the way up to the very end on one. For contrast, for brightness, you want to add 0.9. I do have mine for 0.9, but you can fill all the way up. Uh, for, for contrast, 
brightness and gamma if you want yours white if you want yours black you do the complete opposite so i'm gonna do that right now on the screen so you guys can see that real quick if it lets me will it let me yes it will so look at this this is what i'm bringing now all the way to you want to bring it down to negative one okay so this is back up to one for contrast back to 0.9 for brightness back to one for gamma okay now i know that shit was very confusing right there but if you listen to what i said you should have no problem with doing that you can always rewind and uh do that there but that is it for me guys um i know the tutorial kind of went to a weird direction there but again i couldn't really show you the screen for this because of this shit here and yeah if i did this way this would be very confusing here so yeah it doesn't even pop up on my screen right now even when i'm doing this anyway but anyway all right guys if you guys like this here if this did help you somewhat uh, please rate, please subscribe, please drop a comment. Um, if you like wacky streams, uh, I, I do stream on my channel Wednesdays through Sundays here on my channel. Um, and I do like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, and that great stuff. But anyway, guys, please rate, please subscribe, please drop a comment. And, uh, hope this guy has helped you out. This is, again, a, a getaway to do this. So, if this did help you, great. If not, then, oh, well, at least I tried. But I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great day. Peace out.